I have read the writing on the wall. Hey everybody! Hi! Welcome back to Downstage Left with Bonbon and Coco. I'm Bonbon! I'm Coco! We're sharing our secrets of theater in the community! And like always, if you know that song at the beginning, just hashtag name that musical and tweet us, Facebook, YouTube us, DL with BK. At DL with BK! Alright, so today... <gasps> is an awesome day. Why? We're talking about the magic of playwriting. Playwriting? I'm wearing my playwriting glasses. She is because she's a playwright. What? Yeah, we'll get to that later though. I wanted to share a fun little uh, history of the theater. Ooh, the now, history. Now, there are many a different stories of what became to be the first play. But as we all know, that the theater is founded from the Greeks, essentially. People have been writing stories, ancient Mesopotamia, Egyptians, whatever, but like the Greek, it's like the foundation. Yes. It's where a theater really was born, if you will. And now, That's why their theaters were covered in like, stone. Like they were made from they stone. They were made from scratch. Yeah. Legitimately. They carved them. Festus, I mean, Kamash. Yeah. I just said Kamash. Yeah, a Greek god? He was, yeah, seriously. First actor. So they say. Anyway, back to playwrights. So it is... I mean, it's not truly known who wrote the first play or what the first play was, mm -hmm. but it is widely accepted that, okay, you're going to have to help me again because I keep forgetting, Aeschylus. Aeschylus. Aeschylus, a Greek playwright, wrote the first earliest version of a, what we now consider a play, um, produced in 472 BCE. Mm -hmm. It was called The Persians, and it was a tragic retelling of the Battle about of cats. Salamis. No, it wasn't about cats, it was about mm -hmm. dead people. Cavity with cavity. Jellico Cassandra. Okay. Mr. Mistopheles. Memory. Holland. We're done. Yeah, I'm going to ask Siobhan Bonbon. Gosh, I keep doing that. That's okay. Whatever. She's Siobhan the playwright. Oh, yes. Not because Bonbon. I've got she's my got glasses her playwright on. glasses on. So I'm going to ask um, Siobhan here yes. the, a couple of questions oh, about okay. her playwriting. Can I techniques. talk like this? You as may, I... if you would really like to. Oh, yes. When right, I write so scripts, I think. Tell me a little bit about your playwriting process. Oh, my playwriting process begins with a book. A book. Yes, I know. I can't. I can't hold that. No, I can't handle it because I don't even think I can do it. Um, <laughs> it's gross. No, I mean, well, from start to finish, it's just like any story with beginning, middle, end, and everything like that. And okay. we do that in improv too. We do developing characters. This one was a little bit different because I was basing it off of something. I wasn't coming up with it off the top of my head. Yeah. With the books and whatnot. I actually researched a lot of fairy tales, Grimm's fairy tales, and different versions of them because there are a lot of versions out there. And there's actually two different fairy tales in this one story that are written which by Which one did you combine? I re combined Rapunzel and The Water of Life, which is one that's written by oh. Grimm's fairy tales. Um, because there's, in fairy tales there's a lot of like what ifs. Yeah. Or just in general, just stories like that, that they're abridged. So, it's like why, or what ifs and whys, like why would the prince go find Rapunzel? Like what, was he, was he just like out riding around going, I'm looking for a wonderful woman? Or was he hunting? Or was he going to get something in a neighboring town? Why was it a prince? Another reason, uh, you know, you have the, the father and the mother. By the way, Rapunzel's not a princess. She's not. Just P.S. She's a peasant. In the fairy tales, yeah, she's just a peasant daughter. The their mom and dad, her mom and dad stole from the witch because the mom was hungry and she wanted food. And the witch came and said, I'm going to take your baby. It's like you do. You know, you took something from me, I'm taking something from you. Well, because you know, the witch thinks her plants are her babies. So basically it was a, a give and take. Yes. You took my baby, now they're all dead, I'm going to take your baby. Yes, with the way that all of that worked out. Yeah. Um, and then you and then you get to add the fun elements of adding other characters that support, like how would Rapunzel get out of the tower? It also explains in the story, by the way, that um, Rapunzel doesn't go to a tower until she's twelve years old. Yeah, we you we change it to ten, but yeah, she's ten years old when she goes to the tower. But like for ten years, she's not in a tower, but she's with the witch. Mm -hmm. So what is she doing? Yeah. Is she just like walking around town getting eggs for her mom, her supposed mom? So there's lots of like things leading up to what the story is, which is a prince coming to the tower, climbing her hair, and trying to rescue her. Mm -hmm. Which is also in the story. Yep, Just very true. briefly. <laughs> Alright, so, moving on.
moving on. Tell me, who was your favorite character to write in the script? Oh, like write lines for? Whichever. Develop, write lines. Your favorite character from the script. From this script. From what uh, you wrote. Playwright. Uh, from what I wrote. From what I wrote. I have to say, it's a toss-up between Russell the Bandit or the Minstrel. Russell the Bandit or the Minstrel? The, Russell the Bandit. Yeah. Or the minstrel. Okay. I enjoyed writing for both of them. I enjoyed writing for the witch too, but I don't want to give away the witch because the witch is kind of a different character um, than what what is known. But um, Russell is Rapunzel's love interest, and mm -hmm. he's a bandit, and he he meets her when they're young, and then wants to find her. He spends his days looking for her because she gets taken to the tower after they meet. That's true. Um, but the minstrel is the narrator of the story, and in order to get through all of this stuff and hear about all the tales and the lore of this, this magical girl that is Rapunzel with the long hair, um, she, she takes all the notes and the stories and combines them and makes them into song. And she also ha is part of the royal court, and she's known the prince since, she's grown, uh, since they were little, and so she has a little crush on him. Yeah, it's cute. So okay, yeah. so if you were to describe the whole playwriting process, creating a brand new piece of work in one word, what would that word be? Oh gosh, That's could I? Word. Oh god, I know that that <laughs> word. Um, ah, uh, great. No, I don't want to. I'm trying to think of a good word. Like, ex okay, I'll say. Um, great. I'll say. There's a lot of words that can describe what it. What word? I know. <laughs> can I write them all down and put it into a play for you? Ah! No. Um, I'll say exhilarating. Exhilarating. That's a good word. Yeah. I like that. It sums up a lot of things. Yeah. Exhilaration of nervousness, excitement. Yes. Exhilarating. Ah! I tell you what. I have. I've seen little bits. Of, that's one thing. I have not been part of the rehearsal process, which usually when I write a script, I'm also like the director or a teacher of some kind and I'm part of that process, to not be part of that process and like walk in on little bits and pieces of rehearsals, I get goosebumps. It's really weird. It's like, oh my gosh, that's my brain. That's your brain. My brain baby. Singing and dancing. It's my brain baby. Perfect. Hashtag brain baby. Hashtag brain baby. Speaking of hashtags, uh -huh. uh, I think it's time to play hashtag random, random hashtag. hashtag. If you have a suggestion for a random hashtag in the random. future, by the way, Feel free to tweet us at Deal with BK and suggest your random hashtag, hashtag random hashtag with your hashtag. Or uh, YouTube us or Facebook us. Subscribe to our page. Yes, yeah, subscribe to us on YouTube. Love yes. us. All we want is to be loved. <laughs> Deal with BK love. Come on. All yes. right, so do you got a, a hashtag for okay, me? Okay, um, let's go hashtag golden hair. Golden hair. I love it. For Rapunzel. Also, I want to see a version of Rapunzel where she has like black hair. It's in the story that it's golden. Whatever. Hey, I, I did my research. All right, here we go. You ready? Yep. Hashtag golden hair. Wow, that's yeah, pretty golden. That's, that's, I don't understand the frogs. I don't know, but that's golden hair. <laughs> Thank you.